Recently, I had made a meat tart consisting of two layers of lettuce, two layers of pork ribs, and a papaya simulating the gooey bits in the middle. And I decided that while I had it, all of that together and I had a good test medium, I should ask one important question about the Siege 300. One of the questions I got about the EK Archery Siege 300 is, would it be good to hunt with? Well, I have all this out here. I might as well go for a bonus shot. Now, the Siege 300 will be shooting a little bit faster, but significantly lighter. I've gone with this arrow setup. This is the only fixed blade broadhead setup that I could get to work accurately. Blazer veins weren't quite right. I had to go with these uh, larger veins in order to get this to shoot accurately. So be advised. Now these, in terms of energy foot-pounds, out of my Excalibur was about 85 foot-pounds. This is gonna be roughly 50. That's actually not too bad. Pretty sure it was just the drag of the flights here, or the veins, whatever you want to call them, holding it back. I had to put the ribs on this side. I was did that in the hope that it would increase the odds that anything would hit a rib. Broadhead looks unscathed. I should have tightened that more. Two bucks off AliExpress. Not bad. First, our bonus round with the EK Archery Siege 300. Question, will it hunt? Well, with our intended target, it did pretty well. There's no damage to our point, and I didn't do it today, but previously, first thing I did with this, with this point, this crossbow, was split a coconut. I don't know that uh, the intended target is perfect. Like I said, you probably got an Aunt Mabel somewhere, maybe an Aunt Edith, who has a better intended target recipe that does a better job of simulating what you want. I did the best I could. Take the ingredients I have and infer how well you think the end performance was. Make your own decision. Hello. I missed you downrange today in more ways than one.